Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com. Today we're going to make a sweet pastry crust. This uh, can be used for both pies as well as tart shells. And it has a really nice sweet uh, flavor with a nice crisp texture. So what we're going to do, you can either use a stand mixer like I have here with a paddle attachment, or you could even just make this by hand. What I'm going to first do is put one half cup, that's about 113 grams, of butter that's at room temperature. I like to use uh, unsalted because I prefer the flavor, but you can use salted butter. And then I'm just going to mix this uh, just until it's creamy and smooth, just for a minute or two. And then I'm just going to uh, add now uh, a quarter of a cup, that's 50 grams of granulated white sugar. And I'm just going to beat that until it's light and fluffy, just for a couple minutes. Scrape down the sides. And then I have uh, one large egg, and I'm just going to uh, lightly whisk this to break it up. And then I'm going to, I'm going to uh, put the mixer on low and just slowly add the beaten egg into the uh, butter and sugar. And just beat that until it's incorporated. You have to just scrape the sides. And then to that, I'm just going to add one and a half cups, that's 195 grams of white all-purpose flour, and just about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, kosher salt, just a pinch. And just add that all at once. And then we're just going to uh, mix this just until it comes together. And that's it. I'm just going to empty it onto a piece of plastic wrap.
gather it into a ball. And then I'm just going to flatten it into about um, maybe about eight inch, 20 centimeter circle. And just wrap it in plastic. And then we're going to uh, place this in the refrigerator for about 20, 30 minutes, just until it's firm enough that we can roll it out and put it into our tart pan. So I've chilled the pastry just until it's firm. You could do, I did this in the refrigerator, but if you were in a rush, you could also just put this in the freezer for 10 or 15 minutes. And so what we're going to do is put it in a tart pan. This is an eight inch, eight to nine inch uh, tart pan that's 20 to 23 centimeters. And because that's mainly what I use this pastry for. Now, you could roll this out if you wanted to, either on a lightly floured surface or between two pieces of plastic wrap or even parchment paper. But this pastry is, has a tendency to crack when you roll it. So what I like to do is I just like to press it into my tart pan. That way you don't have uh, the problem of trying to transfer it over to your uh, tart pan, the cracking and all that. So just kind of, this is a very forgiving dough. It's, like, it's almost like a cookie dough. So you just go around and Press it into the bottom and up the sides. Try to get it as evenly as you can. This dough freezes very well as you can leave it in the freezer for several months or in the refrigerator for about a week. So you can make it ahead of time. This is a base that uh, I use for fruit tarts, uh, lemon curd tart. Just make sure you go around and really get it into the edges. Now, if you were going to use this uh, in a recipe that called for an unbaked pie crust or tart shell, it's ready to go. You just cover it with plastic wrap and then put it in the fridge and chill it. But I'm going to uh, show you how to pre-bake this. And normally what you would do is put it in the refrigerator until chilled for about half an hour. And then you'd put a piece of parchment paper and then uh, pie weights and bake it that way. But what I'm going to do is just put this into the freezer for about 15 minutes. And that way we don't have to bother with pie weights or parchment. You can just bake it just as it is. So while I put this in the freezer for 15 minutes, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 200 degrees Celsius. So our oven's ready. Now what I like to do is put the uh, tart pan on a larger baking sheet because it's much easier to transport. And uh, before I put it in the oven, what I like to do is just take a fork and lightly, don't press all the way through, just prick the uh, bottom and that will prevent it from puffing up. So bake it for five minutes at 400 and then drop the temperature down to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 180 degrees Celsius, for another about 15 minutes. And what you're looking for is it to be set and firm, dry, and just a light golden brown. So five minutes at 400. So our pie crust is now done. As you can see, it's nicely just starting to get golden brown. It's dry, it's set and firm. So we need to let this um, cool 
completely before um, taking it out of the pan and filling. Now, if you want to seal the crust uh, before you fill it, there's a few ways you can do it. You can uh, let it cool completely and then brush it with either a, a, an apricot glaze or even melted chocolate. But what I'm going to show you here is we're going to seal it with just egg white and that won't add any flavor, but it will prevent the filling from softening the uh, crust. So just take one uh, egg white and then just with a wire whisk or a fork, just beat it to loosen it up a bit. And then just take a pastry brush and then I'm just going to um, brush the whole tart, both the bottoms and the sides. Now because this is still quite warm, the uh, egg white will dry just like this, but you could just pop it back into the oven while it, and just let it bake for just a couple minutes and that will also dry the uh, egg white. So what we're going to do is let this sit like this and cool completely and then I'll uh, show you how to remove the sides and the bottom of the tart pan. So once your uh, tart shell has completely cooled, there are a couple of ways you can take the uh, sides, remove it from the pan. One is you could just kind of put your palm on the bottom of the pan and then just let it slide down. The other way is to take like a, a pedestal that is a little smaller in diameter than your tart pan and you can just place it on and then let the sides fall away. And that's what we'll do here. Just pick it up and just put it on and sides. So now, if I'm at home, I just normally just leave the bottom plate on because that way you can easily carry it. But if you are going to give this as a gift or take it somewhere where you, don't, you want to remove it from the uh, bottom plate, just take a, a, uh, like a spatula like this or a pancake turner and just kind of gently take your spatula and get it between the plate and the tart. Let's see if you can see that like that and just kind of slide it and just kind of slide it off like so. There you have it. But make sure it's completely cooled before you try to do that. If you do it while the tart shell is still warm, it might crack on you. So you can use this right away or you could cover and store it for a few days at room temperature. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.